hello guys welcome to how to fix that in this video guys we are going to fix the issue slow boot on your windows 10 and 11 whenever you reboot your system it's taking more time to load so how to resolve this issue so after applying these method your issue should fix so let's start without wasting our time so first is dis disable startup apps First of all, when we boot our system, many startup apps automatically load inside our windows and lacks the windows. So first right click on the task manager. This is called taskbar. Then click on task manager. Once you open the task manager, go to startup. And you can see the startup time measurement you can see here. Let me go to this option. And it should not be enabled like this. You just need to select the software and disable it. Simply disable it. You can manually on these softwares. So no need to enable from here. Like Microsoft Edge, Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft Team, Skype, any application. You can disable it from here. You just need to enable this option which is Windows Security Notification. So once this is done, just close this and go to control panel. We will disable the fast startup. Open control panel. And go to view by icons and then click on the large icons here. If it is like this, go to category, then click on large icons. Once you go to large icons, go to power options. Then choose here the high performance if any balance option you need to choose this option high performance and then click on choose what the power button does click on that and you need to click on that change setting that are currently unavailable since the these are blurs so you can see here I have already unchecked this option if it is ticked like this you need to uncheck this option then click on save changes then exit out from here and we need to press window plus R button together to disable all the third party application after MS config like this or you can see here the this option system configuration just search is system configuration click on OK okay go to boot option here then you need to click on advanced options and in the number of processor you need to select here the largest one I am selecting here the 4 on the boot time it is selected 1 but I am selecting here the maximum number you need to select here then click on OK once you click on OK go to this option which says services and hide all Microsoft services click on that and click on disable all and click on apply click on ok I have already disabled all the services you can see here ok once select on apply ok and it will prompt to restart your system just simply restart your system and your issue will be fixed ok if still not fixed after applying these three to four methods what you need to do is you can switch to SSD means solid state drive you can purchase that and switch your hard drive to ssd if you don't want to purchase ssd then click on google chrome and any other website you use then you need to look for graphic card driver here go to search by type for hp driver download i am choosing here the hp laptop using open it up go to HP support and if you are using any other like Lenovo download Lenovo driver download or the Dell these are the website Dell driver download simply open the website choose here the which you are using laptop I am using here put your SN key here so let me press window plus R button together type as CMD and I need to hit this command 
okay and hit enter you need to submit your sn key after that or it will automatically try to resolve the issues is or it will try to resolve or detect the automatic select your operating system here then select your operating version here click on submit and then click on all drivers and then you need to choose this option driver display expand this and this is the driver you need to download it realtek high definition graphics click on download and click on i will install it manually and let me but it's recommending to choose this driver also other setting you can choose from here is you can expand this and you can also choose the bios date here my bios date is this december 2020 let me type here ms in 432 and i'm choosing here the latest bios driver you can see here december 2022 okay this is the older one five month older one so i need to also update my bios so this is one man way graphic driver let me double click on that click on yes when the prompt opens click on next accept terms and condition click on next next and this is the real tech high definition graphic drivers let it download and before updating the bios make sure you have plug in the charger and then perform the steps and once it is done your issue should fix so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech